with former college player and coach Steve Foster and former All-Pro NFL quarterback Jeff Blake. Where they did? Where they? Where did they do it at? Brazil. Brazil. So we got to do a live look in. Uh, the first victors of the round of 16, the knockout round in the 2014 FIFA World Cup, the host nation. The host nation. Brazil. Brazil. So we go down. That's right to our man, ESPN Brazil's, and one of my favorites, alum from the University of Nebraska. That's right. And first. Round overall pick of the New York Football Jets, Johnny Mitchell. Johnny, welcome. Hey, what's up, Falls? Hey, what's up, guys? ESPN. <laughs> We're doing it, man. Brazil. Right now, you caught me on the field. I am training my crocodile. That is the Curitiba Crocodiles, the city I live in. We have the championship game next Saturday. We do our final walk to preparation, American football here. So if you hear guys training in the background, I'm in a nice little city outside of Curitiba, and we're getting ready for the championship game. But as you seen yesterday, Foss, that Brazil is still alive, bro. It was it was scary. Hey, but man, still alive. I need one of those Hulk 7 jerseys, man. I like that Hulk, that, that superhero type stuff. You know, I love the amazing Spider-Man, and then you know my boy Dean Kane played Superman, so I need that yellow Hulk 7 jersey, Mitch. Come on, Mitch. You sure you, you, sure you want the Hulk jersey, man? He missed the free penalty kick, bro. The Hulk missed the free penalty kick yesterday. He almost cost Brazil a <laughs> chance to win the World Cup. Well, you know, uh, you're right. Then give me that number four of David Luiz because uh, he, he had that nice little first one. And then, you know, Neymar. Ne hey, well, this is what I said, and you're down in Brazil. Neymar, with that 10, reminds me of Deshaun Jackson. Just so yeah. lightning fast and just the attitudes that both of them have. What do you think about that, Mitch? Hey, I tell you what, Neymar is the he's the Peyton Manning, Tom Brady of American uh, of, of Brazilian soccer, bro. The guy he passed the ball well, he gets his team involved. The only problem they depend too much on him, and a lot of times they double team him. So other guys have to step up and help with the supporting cast for Brazil to get back to repeat as six times world champion. As you know, Brazil has won five world champions more than any country, and we're pulling for the six. Well, that's because y'all had Pele, man. That guy was unbelievable. And Ronaldo, that's right. you, you, you had some guys. Hey, Fox, you want to hear something very similar? My team is going for the six-time championship. Well, I so know there's similarity there. I, I just had to throw that in there. <laughs> hey, hey, well, hey, hey, it's Chico. I got, I got to ask you a question, Chico, man. What's up, bro? What's, what's happening? Up? Hey, man. Um, what's your team colors for your your football team? Green and black, or okay. green and white. Okay, I, I love that. Send me a jersey. <laughs> All right, I got you. I got you. I, I have a nice green, black, and gold jersey. I forgot. I got that gold in there. No, man, I would love to. Uh yeah, hey, we, hey we, Mitch, you know if you hey, as we say, if it's free, free get, get three. three. So you, better, you know, Blake gotta have one too, man. Hey, man, we would we would rock that here in the U.S. We would rock that hey, here in the U.S. You guys gotta come here and visit, man. Listen, what about USA? Let's talk false. Let's talk about USA. Well, who ever thought that they would pass it to you know this far? No one's giving us that much of a chance because, as you know, our best sports, our American football, basketball, baseball, and the rest. But soccer now is becoming something that Americans should really, really consider and start investing in. Uh, absolutely, Jay Mitch, and I tell you, you can tell in the United States that soccer is making an impact because the commercials – and, 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 I mean, they're putting some the, – the, the one lady that's on this one commercial, Mitch, that talks about, you know, watching 
football, for the soccer for the next month, she is out unbelievable standing. And and now they're investing quality dollars, quality programming. I'm talking with commercialization to the United States public. And, uh, man, it's getting ready to be July 4th, Independence Day up here. We're playing Belgium on Tuesday. Mitch, how was it when you went and watched Team USA play in Brazil? How was that? Boss, I tell you what, you wouldn't believe how many Americans living in Brazil. There's a sports bar that I go to to watch it. There's all American fans cheering on the red, white, and blue. And I tell you what, man, the feeling, the atmosphere, it is almost as crazy as when you watch Brazil play and the support they have for Brazil. Absolutely. Now, you know, the Copacabana Beach where they have the big viewing screen for for, uh, Team Brazil, do they have something like that where you're located? Can you repeat that? There's the big viewing screen at Copacabana Beach. Is there a big place where Brazilians can congregate and watch Team Brazil where you live? That's right, Foster. As I told you last time, there's 12 stadiums that was built. Each city has a public designated place where they watch the game. And most of the time, you catch people out barbecuing. The whole system is shut down. There's no work. Everybody's out when Brazil plays, and there is tickets being sold as a, at a designated city where one of the stadiums are built to watch Brazil play. It is mad, man. It's just a mad thing. Oh, wow. And, I mean, it just – it goes crazy, the the, the flag holding and, and the just, you know, the jersey wearing. It's somewhere to our, you know, either March Madness where we're talking about a knockout round type, you know, sweet 16 type feeling uh, around the country and then all culminating at one stadium and just the crowd just behind one nation. Well, Foss, think about it like this. Let's say you're in New York and the Giants are playing in the Super Bowl, and you're going to the stadium, take all those Giants fans playing in MetLife, right? That's the new name. Right. Playing in MetLife, and think about all those jerseys in that stadium. That's what you have in the entire country. In yeah. every corner. Yeah, in it, it, every street. Yeah. It's multiplied, every it's multiplied by, by, by what, multiplied 10, 20? Multiplied by 200 million. Right. And that's what you got. <laughs> well, listen, you know, I've seen a lot of Americans wearing red, white, and blue hats that say U.S. or USA shirts. I went to a little happy hour for a buddy of mine. He's wearing a soccer top. I've got stuff. I had my my Olympic polo that had the USA flag. Hey, put on your old Boy Scout uniform, whatever that's got, you know, (laughs) USA flag on it, and and go. You know, so many servicemen and women. It is just unbelievable that the United States has rallied behind this team, a youthful team, nonetheless, in this knockout round of 16, just like Brazil. Well, right now, folks, as I told you, America has nothing to lose. They are the underdog. No one expects them to be there where they are right now. No one expects them to win the next round. The world is very old playing soccer, and it's all new to us Americans. But one thing we have is heart, and that's what I instill in my team. And I instill, and that's why I've never lost as a coach. My guys are mentally, physically sound, and that is one thing I like about America. We have heart. And as long as you got heart and you play with tenacity, with chemistry, you believe in one another, you'll be hard to beat. And that's what I love about my team. Well, I tell you, I know you're hard to beat. We're talking with Johnny Mitchell, former Nebraska Cornhusker All-American First round draft pick of the New York Football Jets, and now a part of ESPN Brazil. We're doing our live look in here uh, from uh, our studios here uh, in San Antonio down to Brazil, and laying down the law is talking firsthand, uh, real time with Johnny Mitchell. Johnny, tell us and the listeners about some things going on in Brazil that we don't see from the television and the media that is just an incredible sight during this 2014 World Cup. Hey, boss, as I told you, 
the atmosphere, you know, everything has been going like clockwork. People are happy. you got many different languages. Every country thinks that their team is the team, and rightfully so. It is getting down to the championship now. There is no margin for errors. And I tell you what, I believe in USA because we have heart and we play well together. That's one thing that I think if Brazil can in, implement in their game, they try to individually. They got so much talent that every time someone gets close to the goal, they try to make, like you said, hook. One of your favorite uh, player for Brazil. He has a strong leg, but he don't play too well in a team format. Right. This is what Brazil is lacking because of the talent. And this is why I love USA, Team USA, and I believe we are the biggest country in the Americas, and if all us Americans rally behind Team USA, nothing but powerful, energetic force going, and I think that's what makes our country so great. That patriotism for our team, patriotism for the country, and a guy like you, hey man, we call Huskers for life, right? <laughs> you know it, baby! <laughs> Absolutely! From the 402 till we <laughs> till it's done, man! I tell you what, we, we can't thank you enough for your live look in we're we're right we're right in the heart of brazil man and uh you know want to say uh happy fourth of july to you we know you're not uh with us in the uh contiguous 48 uh however man you know usa we do it and we ride or die with the stars and stripes and uh there's no finer country regardless of the situation or scenario than the stars and stripes and we hold them up high and and also i'm glad that uh you have uh resided well uh, in the host country for this FIFA uh, 2014 in Brazil. And, and, and Godspeed to them, too. Uh, you know, they're putting on and taking on a big, big uh, responsibility in having this championship of soccer. And uh, can't thank you enough. We'll always go to you for that live look in. We know we have a couple few more weeks of hey, soccer. You got it. Let me just say this. Absolutely. July 4th is a Friday. Saturday night, we will be embracing that trophy, man. So throw it up, throw it up. Like Rihanna say, throw it up, throw it up. <laughs> oh, that football. That that's football. what we holding up. That championship, six-time championship. In Portuguese, it's called EXA. So eu vou falar assim. Muito obrigado para todo mundo lá em Estados Unidos. I said, hey, championship, I love it. Love for everybody in the United States. Hey man, you can't you can't say it any better than that. We'll look to talk to you next Sunday, man, and see how everything has gone for Team USA, for for your football team, for Brazil and others. So uh, you know, enjoy the day and uh, get to that back to that walkthrough, Johnny. Appreciate it, Mitch. Got you, bro. Love you guys, man. Take hey, care. Here for you, bro. Okay, man. We appreciate you. All right, live look in to Brazil. It's hard to beat that, man. Yeah, you know, and uh, big, big exciting things down there in Brazil, they, that uh, football league that's happening, the American football league that's happening down there, and then, of course, you know, the big stage, the World Cup. So, yeah. um, I, I, FIFA you know, 2014. You know, you know, watching it on TV, you, you probably can't imagine. You can't get the feel for the yeah, stadium. Just well, well, I mean, you know, I can get a little bit of the feel in, in the excitement around right. being in a, a soccer stadium, you know, but not like that. Okay, well, let's do this. We'll get a sidebar in. Great segment from our man, Johnny Mitchell, from ESPN Brazil, former first-round pick of the New York Football Jets. And we'll have more time. We can take calls. And then at the bottom of this hour, we do our shout-outs. So yeah. stay with us right here on Laying Down the Law. 